Welcome or welcome back today. I am obviously, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we're doing another bookshop with me vlog. And purely because I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble to try to buy the rest of the Akatar series, which I only have to buy, I think, three other books. I recently just got the latest book on book deposit book dispository deposit dispository. So it's a UK website, but I wanted to go and buy the rest of them at Barnes. Sorry, the windows are gone. But I thought I would bring you guys along because, of course, even though you set out for one thing, you always kind of look for another. I don't know if I will buy any other books other than the ones that I came for, but it's always nice to just go to the bookstore and look. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go in here. Before we get into our book shopping video, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills to invest in yourself and your own personal growth. If you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the absolute perfect place to go. From tips to read faster, journaling, and even how to start your own YouTube channel, and even more, you can find classes that will match your personal goals and interests. I joined Skillshare because, as you guys know, I I've been hinting and teasing at wanting to start a podcast and obviously I know absolutely nothing about that. So I have been taking the class, how to launch a podcast with Mike Migas and he has thoroughly, thoroughly went through the process of uploading the importance of naming your podcast, of naming the episodes, of the aesthetics of it, how to edit it and how to bring a podcast fully to life. And it has definitely helped me learn and experience how to build a podcast and how to build a successful one at that. So I now know how to produce a well done podcast. So I'm definitely going to be adding that into the sphere of things that we can look forward to. Some of the best parts about Skillshare is it is completely ad free. So you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. Also new premium classes launch each week. So there's always something new to discover. Also the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. One of the best parts is the first thousand people that use the link down below in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And with all of that being said, let's get back into our book shopping video. Okay guys, we are once again back at Barnes & Noble. So today I knew exactly what I was looking for, but I still like to browse. So I automatically go to the new release fiction section, even though realistically I don't buy hardcover books, but I still like to keep an eye out for when there'll be paperbacks. And then right here I saw the Court of Silver Flames book. My mom was like, wow, that book is so thick. So we were having a good laugh about that. Of course, I always have to stop off at the book talk table, see what's new. Most of it stays relatively the same. So it's kind of always a disappointment a little bit but not really this is exactly what i came for but i felt a little bad about taking these off of the display i don't know why i just don't like doing that this right here every single time we need to code upon the barnes and noble this is the section that we stay in <laughs> if we are two completely different people i'll tell you that so anyway, this is me literally going to find it on the regular bookshelves to just buy it from there because I felt too bad to take it from the perfectly orchestrated display that they had. I don't know if that's just a me thing, but this was also me, of course, having to go to the romance section as always, even though I was new that I should not be buying any more books than what I came for. And actually, this is the moment when I saw a creepy man staring at me. So I was trying to distract myself and let my mom know to stop recording. But we move on. Of course, I always have to stop by the young adult section now I swear a few months ago I would not have done that but now it's a must and then right here I saw that they actually put together a cute little book talk book bind up of like the most hyped up young adult book talk books I mean these are relatively old but still it was a cute idea And then after doing some gentle browsing, I actually somehow found this like kids table and found this book that unlocked a memory. I used to love this book. It was like a required reading in elementary school and it unlocked a part of my brain for me. But anyway, that is all of the book browsing we are doing. So now we're gonna go back home and do a little cute haul. Okay. What's going on with everybody? Like for you, it's been like a second, but for me, it's been like about 30 minutes. So I'm going to do a little haul. Literally, we bought four books. Let's just get into what I bought because I know that's what we are literally all here for. So the first book that I bought was the Finding Perfect 
novella by colleen hoover the reason i haven't bought this like physical yet is because it was never in stores and when it was i didn't really like the cover colleen hoover's books are starting to get like cover upgrades like her publishing company is changing all of the covers of her books like i was going to buy the point of retreat series but they are updating the covers so i want the new covers because they are way better than the old ones a lot of colleen's books have been out for a very long time but they're just now getting popular and so they're getting new covers that don't have people on them thank god literally the hopeless series is getting new covers like i saw losing hope today in store i was like i definitely will be buying the new covers because i love the hopeless series it's like one of my favorite colleen hoover books yeah i'm rambling on about that but i bought finding perfect because if you guys didn't know this is a part of the hopeless series this book is what ties together the hopeless series with all your perfects colleen hoover has hopeless and then losing hope is the boy's point of view from hopeless because you don't have dual pov in that book you only have her point of view in that book so it goes hopeless losing hope and then i read finding cinderella after losing hope because it makes a lot more sense to read it after losing hope i don't know why they say to read it before losing hope it makes a ton more sense to read it after losing hope and then you read all your perfects and then you read this and it makes so much sense it ties all of them together in such a beautiful way like i love that colleen did all of this to tie those two books together that you wouldn't think are tied together and it just does amazing things so I wanted the physical copy of this novella. Obviously, I bought the rest of the Akatar series other than the final book, which I'm pretty sure the final book isn't even about Feyre. I think I said it earlier about how I recently ordered the last book because I wanted the paperback because as you guys can see, like how they're all really colorful. I love that. I want to display these on one of my floating shelves because I loved the first book. So hopefully I love the rest of the series just as much as I loved the first book. If you guys haven't seen that reading vlog, I literally have a whole entire reading vlog dedicated to the Akatar series so, not series just the first book go watch that if you haven't yet but I wanted the uh, paperback and on Amazon it said it wasn't coming out until September but I had seen some people it have the paperback in hand the paperback is orange and I was like how do I get this paperback and then all of you guys thank you so much like this is why I'm so lucky this is like one of the reasons why I'm so lucky to have you guys because I said how do I get this paperback and you guys are like go on book depository and there's also a few other UK websites to get it on to get it so that is coming soon I also ordered the new some kind of perfect cover which I knew they were going to release but I didn't see anything about it and one of you lovely lovely people actually sent me a DM of the new cover and I was like oh my god I need it because it goes perfectly with the rest of the series so i ordered those two and i'm waiting for them to come i got the rest of the series which it's so funny like how widely loved the series is like i was just carrying these around and a barnes and noble play came up to me and she's like oh you know like we have a box set of that series like it is so good like i'm so happy that you're gonna read it and i was like oh yeah well i wish that i didn't have the first book already because that would make this a lot of a cheaper purchase because if you buy the box set it's usually cheaper than just buying the whole entire series and i was like well i already own the first book but also when i was checking out the woman was like oh this is such a good series like i hope you like it it's just so funny how this series like brings together so many people so i'm really excited so i think the second book is a court of mist and fury i think this is the book that everyone loves like this is like everyone's favorite favorite book in this whole entire series but on my video everyone was like oh my gosh i can't wait for you to read is it called akamoth yeah akamoth Akamoff because I don't know what is what it is with this series and just using the acronyms for it but I was like what everyone was saying I can't wait read read Akamoff and I was like what is that and it's this book and I uh, you guys just hyped this book up so after I really loved the first book I'm really having high hopes for them but the these books are so thick the thing is is that i don't like read fantasy if you guys are subscribed you would know this and i'm just kind of like now getting into fantasy and it's so funny because when i was like oh my god this is like a medium like size book but the font is so small and people were like welcome to fantasy where all of the books are super long and the font is super small so it takes a long time to get through them and i literally picked these up and my mom was like wow those books are big and i was like i know just single tear strolling down my cheek this is the second one super excited for also we're matching right now so pretty cute and fun i'm pretty sure the second one is a court of wings and ruin this one i'm a little bit more scared to because a lot of you guys said that this is like not the best like so many of you guys were like i love the first and second book but then i picked up the third book and really didn't like it and dnf'd it and i just all went downhill from there 
Okay, now I'm scared. But then again, this is like such a loved series that I'm like, I don't, I don't know. And I'm just excited for this. Also, this is like my favorite cover. I don't know why. I just love the purple. Also, I kind of fear bought these because I don't know why I saw like a TikTok or something like they were changing the covers to these again. Maybe not. Maybe these are the new covers. But people and I just don't know maybe you know it's so funny because I'm just getting into this and maybe I just don't know any different but I've also seen the old covers and people who have the hardcover are like oh my god yeah this is such a flex that I have the hardcovers and I'm like I personally like the colorfulness of them and just the simplistic just title and like illustration right there so much better and I don't know why I think I saw like a TikTok where people were like they're changing the whatever's again and I was like oh my god I need to pick these up before they try to change the covers on me but yeah I had that one and then there is a court of frost and starlight this is the novella I'm pretty sure it's like you read this and then you read the final book which is Feyre isn't the main character in that book I think you start learning more about the side characters in that book so it's probably just like building up for the rest of the series excited for this one to just read about them I've heard that that series has like a big found family aspect which you know if you watch this channel you would know that I love a good found family moment really quick guys before this video ends I just wanted to give a quick reminder that the first 1,000 people to visit the link down in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare do not forget that the link is down in the description and that you guys too can learn how to do new skills just like me so don't forget link down in the description one month free trial first thousand people and those are all the books that I read in today's video so if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and if you guys like me then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the post notification bell at the side of notified whenever I upload video all that YouTube stuff that we all know how to do we all know and love and with that being said I will see you guys when I see ya peace